Um, this next device is called the OrCam, and it's actually, this is not really yet available on the market. It has been released to a select uh, few people, and um, the reason I like this, this device, it's about the size of a cell phone. I'm holding it up for those of you who can see it. It's OrCam. Yes. So this device has three buttons on it. There's the power button, there's the activation button, and the volume controls. And it's really kind of cool because it connects to a camera that connects to your eyeglasses. So for me, why do I like this device is because it gives me, it, it kind of recreates an old experience of being able to quote unquote look at something, right? So I'm holding something up in front of me. I'm gonna put on a pair of glasses right now. I'm gonna plug in my speaker so that everybody can hear what the device is saying. Put this down. Okay, plugging that in. And then I'm gonna wake it up and take a picture and hopefully it'll do well. Um, so, let's see. Waking up. Battery is 100% charged. Good. Please wait. I'm waiting. Camera's ready. Okay. So I'm going to hold this document in front of my face. So, <laughs> so maybe for, for camera purposes, I'll turn to the right. Um, and I'm going to just take a snapshot. Reading first text block. Sarah scanning and reading appliance at a glance. Reading next text block. Simple to use. Okay, so it just thought that I wanted to take a different picture. So I, another, th what the, another really cool thing about this device is I can point to something and it'll take a snapshot too. So it sees my finger, and I'm gonna just point to it, and it's gonna. Text seems blurry. Okay. Please hold it steady. Okay. Yeah, maybe not. Let's try it again. Sarah scanning and reading appliance at a glance. Simple to use, no technical experience needed. Eye belt and braille display support. Scans and reads documents of many sizes. I identified. Okay, so I'm going to stop it for one second. I want to tell you a little bit about this device. Um, why, um, again, I'm pointing my finger and it's seeing my finger, so it actually is trained to recognize my finger moving towards an object and when it sees the kind of image of a finger, like if I hold my finger out in front of my, there you go, somebody held a finger up. <laughs> um, it, tr it's, it recognizes a lot of different things and what's gonna happen eventually with this particular device is it will have facial recognition. So as you're walking down the street, as you're looking, it'll say, oh look, there's Lynette, right? It, that's not quite what it does yet, but right now it's strictly an OCR device, just reading text. You can teach it object recognition, so if you have a pack, a package of something um, or a CD, you can actually train it to bring that CD up for you. Um, one thing that it does not do, or at least it didn't do the last time I tried it, is read if the text is upside down. So I'm going to just try that real quick and see if, if that'll do it. There may be more text below. Thank you for that, Marion. Um, okay, so it didn't do very well, right? So I'm going to try it one more time, and then we're going to do a magazine and maybe a business card and see what it does with those things. Let's see what it does here. Oops. Nothing. Okay, there we go. Skipped four lines of unreadable text. S -S yeah. So not so great, right, with upside down text, but when it's right side up, it does really nicely. What I, again, um, uh, I keep, so let me try with the, uh, the magazine. I'm going to go to another article so we don't have to keep hearing the same one about the animals. <laughs> um, again, for me, this, there's something, um, 
Oh, this is what I wanted to mention. I'm gonna put this thing to sleep for a second. Suspending. Okay, good. Press again to shut down. The, one of the ways that this device works. Suspended. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Yes, my apologies. So one of the ways that this device works is it uses uh, something called bone conduction. Um, so the camera actually has a piece that's attached to it that kind of fits against your temple so that when you're not, when you're out in public, you can hear it against your temple. You don't have to plug it into a speaker. Does that make sense? So, in, but instead of the headphone going over or in your ear, it's over the temple. So it doesn't actually interrupt or disrupt the environmental sounds that you're gonna be hearing. And I, that's another reason that I kind of like this because it's kind of set up to, to, to work out of doors. Um, I've had, I've had um, some success doing this outside and it's, it's been, <laughs> it's been a definitely an interesting thing. Uh, one thing to note is that the camera is connected to the device via a cable because a wireless Bluetooth connection would probably have killed the battery in 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> So you get a good, I think, um, five hours of continuous, continual use out of this device um, with the current battery. And I'm gonna just try it again with the, um, I'm gonna wake it up and I'm gonna try it with the magazine. Waking up. Sorry, what? Battery is 100% charged. One second, I'm sorry. Let's wait till it stops talking. <laughs> sorry, you, you were saying? It, it is not commercially on the market, but people are purchasing it because I, they're, they're kind of, I don't want to say beta testing it. They're actually getting the, act, the real devices and they're being worked on as, I'm gonna, as, they, as, they de, as they work on the different bugs and the different issues that it has. So P, you can actually place an order for it. You can be put on a waiting list, but I don't think it's, uh, I don't think you can go and buy it tomorrow. Sure. I'm sorry, this microphone is not picking me up, so I apologize. Um, so this device is available for purchase, but it's not, I don't believe it's currently uh, available for immediate purchase, okay? But it is, it is, it is um, very close to a commercial launch and it will be available soon. But I thought it, I thought it was important to show, one second. I thought it was important to show it today because it is, it's coming out. Your question was, sir? Absolutely, yes. Uh, it's still called the OrCam. C or Cam, O R C A M, like camera. <sighs> sure, please. Absolutely. We can do that. Yeah. The the thank you, Marion. Um, so this this the price for this device is again ranging from twenty five to thirty five hundred dollars. Um, it's it's uh, it's again it's prototype. I'm not sure what the final price is going to be at commercial launch, but that's what that's what it's currently being price pointed at. So I'm going to try reading the glossy page again see if it does it or maybe it's still maybe it went back to sleep there we go reading first text block the demand sure. for computer Thank programmers you. will double by the year 2008 get a jump on the competition train now with mri's new and improved computer programming course continuation is unreadable but notice I just sped up the volume, the, the rate, so you can adjust the rate, you can adjust the voice, you can adjust the output so that it comes out only through the headphone jack or only through the uh, bone conduction. Right now I have it set so that it, um, it comes out through both. Um, uh, so I'm hearing it in my temple, I guess, if you want to say. Uh, and I'm also hearing it, we're also hearing it through the speaker on my, on my table. Um, this, uh, Okay, we're putting you to sleep because you're Suspending. you're not Press doing everything. You're not doing everything that I want you to do. Um, 
I uh, I really really do like this device. I, I'm uh, I don't I don't know why I like it so much, but I really do like it. It's there's it's very satisfying to be able to kind of look at something like to physically be facing something again just like I, when I before I lost my vision and to like hold a piece of paper up in front of me and to be able to quote unquote read it um, there's something just I think mentally and, and emotionally satisfying about it and I, I can't say enough about that um, I know I've mentioned that a few times but I thought it, it bared repeating because uh, it really was important to me uh, it may not be important to everybody else in the audience so you know again with all of these devices there's a lot of features and functions that come up that are that are you know more important for each of us right each of us has our own experiences some of them are shared some of them are not um, but in the, at the end of the day it's we really have to look at what is going to work best for me and what what is going to leave me like feeling very satisfied so for some the price point may not be the concern